the wonderful world of eclairs. There are so many different flavours. Chocolate, coffee, vanilla. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Passion fruit, that's my favourite flavour. That's what we're making Stop today. <laughs> that's what we're making today. I have some water here in the yep. saucepan. This is for the shoe pastry. Mm -hmm. So this is the pinnacle of the eclair, the base of it. Yes. And this is quite unique because I'm actually using the Buller cooking cream mm -hmm. with water when normally you would use just water or milk. Mm, that is correct. And why do you like to use the cooking cream for this? Because it's only got 17% fat, mm -hmm. where standard, like the thickened cream, has 35% fat. Right. Otherwise, it would be too oily. Butter? Mm -hmm. I use unsalted butter. Do you use unsalted or salted? I always use unsalted uh, for baking and cooking, but if I've got a beautiful loaf of bread, I use my salted butter. Mm. Good <laughs> plan. Sugar? Mm -hmm. Generous pinch of sea salt there. Turn that on yep. and bring it to the boil. Okay. Boiling. Boiling, ready for the flour. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to mix this in while I'm doing that. Do you mind breaking up the eggs? Sure can. So this shoe pastry can be used for any type of shoe, whether you're making a shoe puff or Paris breast. There's so many different mm. varieties. What is interesting as well, but you probably know with your French background, is the word eclair means lightning. Oh, my God, you got it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and that's because the that pastry right. cracks. Of course it does on the top, and yeah. that's it's, it's by its nature, it does that. That's its yeah. signature. Mm. So we want this to come into a ball, mm -hmm. and it should have a slightly oily sheen on the surface. Mm. This now gets transferred to the mixer, and we slowly drizzle in the eggs. Ready to go. How's okay. your piping skills? I'll let you do it. OK. <laughs> now, I like to do these quite small so you can eat more than one and not feel too bad. Mm. So I'm going for 10 centimetres in length. OK. I'm just doing it on a line tray. And they're going to expand a little in the They in should the oven. double in size. So I stop there and yep. then flick up. Ah, that's All trick. in the wrist movement. Yeah. And the consistency of the shoe pastry is super important. You can see that it's shiny um, and sometimes it takes a little more, a little less egg depending on the flour and all different types of things it, like the heat It, it does, yeah. but you want it to hold like this. Yes. If it starts to spread, yep. you're going to have pretty flat eclairs. Absolutely. <laughs> Smother these with almonds. We're going to bake them at 170 degrees Celsius in a fan forced oven for approximately 35 to 40 minutes or until they're a beautiful golden brown colour. Then turn the oven off and dry them out for five minutes. Now, you can't have a passion fruit eclair without mm. passion fruit custard. Mm. Now, I'm going to get you to help yes. if that's OK. Yep. Cornstarch, sugar together. Okay. Then whisk in the egg yolks. Okay. I'm going to combine some of the Buller cooking cream, which is brilliant in a custard, not an ingredient you normally use in a custard. Mm -hmm. oh. Touch of vanilla. Mm -hmm. Now, in cooking terms, we actually call this a slurry, which is a term they use on building sites for cement mixes. That's right. You can see why. You ready? I'm going to get you pour that in and I'll take over the whisking. Sure Not that can. you weren't doing a brilliant job. <laughs> <laughs> this is easier. It's better with two people with this because you don't want that hot, hot cream to cook the eggs. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Now, we're going to go straight back into the pot. Mm -hmm. Don't put it on the hot plate that you're using. This is a really small amount of custard. Mm -hmm. Scrape it all back in. You know I don't like any wastage. No. <laughs> Add the passion fruit juice now. I've removed the seeds. Okay. Oh. I love passion fruit. I think it's a great idea when you've got this custard, you've got pastry. The tang of it is a really nice, isn't it? It is, the tang in it. You mm. can replace it with lemon juice if you want mm. to. Or Good you can idea. use pineapple juice, so yep. you can just simply swap one out for the other. Great. Now we whisk this until it starts to boil. Yes. Pinch of sea salt. Mm -hmm. mm. And we bring that to a boil. It's really important that you do boil this mixture mm -hmm. so that it's thick enough and we cook out the starch. Fantastic. Oh, I can really smell that passion I know. fruit. Beautiful. <laughs> That's thickened beautifully and it has come to the boil. Mm -hmm. We're going to transfer it to the bowl and then slowly add the butter a piece at a time. All right. And then I guess that needs to be chilled, so I'll place a bit of glad wrap on top into the fridge. Exactly. Mm -hmm.
everything's aligned and set up. We've got our custard here in a piping bag. I'm using a star nozzle. Okay. The eclairs are baked and cool. If you're not going to use these the same day, just freeze them. Now I'm cutting, but not the whole way through. Okay. It's like a sandwich. So it is. Serrated edge knife. Twist the back of the bag so you've got some control. Open it up a little bit. Hold it in place. Oh, thank you. Look at the inside. And then I do a little bit of a swirl. Is that, am I just showing off now? I love when you show off. <laughs> Put the lid back on gently and you can do the finishing touch with the touch of icing sugar. Icing sugar over the top, just a small amount. Oh, they are gorgeous. Would you like to taste? Oh, yes. I would <laughs> love to have a taste of that. That is just perfection right there. And you know, I love that it's this size, that classic small size because you can have more than one. Exactly. Do you need a bit of alone time with your eclair? Oh no, I just need you right next to me. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is the most divine eclair you'll ever taste. Better than chocolate, better than coffee, strawberry, passion fruit. It's the new cool.